What's going on guys? In this video, I'm gonna be showing you how to upgrade your fans on your new Alienware Aurora R13 or R14 with these new top of the line Noctua fans in order to bring fan noise down, increase efficiency, and hopefully to bring our temps down as well. And in the end, I'm gonna be showing you a side-by-side -side comparison to show you how big of a difference these fans actually make. And make sure to use the link in the description to ensure that you're getting the exact model we have here that's guaranteed to work. Little disclaimer, keep in mind every time you open up your computer and modify anything inside, there's a possibility of you breaking something. So follow these steps at your own risk. And make sure to ground yourself on something in case of any static electricity. First, before you do anything else, make sure to unplug your computer and make sure to disconnect anything else from your computer. Now, Dell recommends you put your computer on its side, but for this video, I'm gonna leave it standing up for better camera angles. Now go ahead and unscrew the back handle until the side panel pops out. Go ahead and remove this bracket here so we can see everything better. The three fans we'll be replacing are the front intake fans and the top exhaust fan in the back. Then we're going to unplug both fans right here. Now push on this blue release clip right here to pop each of them out. Then we're going to go ahead and do that to this top fan right here. You might want to flip this Alienware bar right here to give you a little bit more room. Next we're going to unplug that one and push on the blue release clip to pop that one out as well. And now for the fun part, our fancy new Noctua fans. The little rubber corners right here are there to prevent rattling, but the fan brackets that this computer came with already has these little rubber pieces that do the same thing. Also, these fans aren't going to fit very easily if you leave those rubber corners on. So we'll go ahead and take the old fans out of the brackets. Now as we slide the new ones in, we just need to make sure that the direction lines up. These fans suck air in on the clean side and then blow it out the side with the logo. As we put the fans in, we just need to pull the rubber pieces through each corner hole until you feel a slight snap in place. Now go ahead and do that for each fan. And then look for the three bracket holes on the chassis, line them up with each fan. And now we're ready to put them back in the computer by plugging them back in and then place the fans in them at an angle and then snap them in. All right, now let's close everything back up and plug it in to check out the difference. Initially with my first few tests with fours it actually appeared like the stock fans kept temps lower than the new Noctua fans for the GPU, CPU, and the VRAM. I was worried about this as a possibility as the stock fans actually have about twice the RPMs as the Noctua fans. But then as I did more and more tests on games like Tomb Raider, the temperatures got closer and closer to each other despite the fact that the stock fans were spinning twice as fast as the Noctua fans when at full speed. Same thing happened with my 30 tests within Call of Duty as well. The GPU, CPU, and the VRAM VRAM temps with the old and new fans were nearly identical. When it came to the noise levels, in performance mode they were about the same, but with the fans maxed out, there was a huge 7 decibel difference. To make everything fair, I tested the stock fans at 45% speed since that was the fastest that the Noctua fans could spin, and there was still a 3 decibel difference. That's huge. Keep in mind, every decibel is exponentially louder, and a 3 decibel difference represents about a 100% gain increase. Very worth it because the stock fans at full speed were pretty annoying. Remember to check out the link in the description for these exact fans that are guaranteed to work. I really appreciate everybody who uses those links as I get a small commission for every single purchase made. Even if you purchase something else, it still helps me out and helps keep this channel going. Guys, remember every week I do a giveaway that randomly selects someone who's interacted with this channel. So make sure to like, comment, and subscribe with notifications turned on to keep up with that as well as staying up to date with all of my latest tech reviews and tips. Now the winner for this week's giveaway is... Jose Borges. Thanks for watching, guys. God bless.